Sorry. And hey, everybody, welcome back to the Law and Crime Network. I'm Michael Bryant. This is the afternoon session. Janina Tamian is with me here. Sue Ann Robinson will join us shortly. So this 911 call went on for about nine minutes. We heard the, the guts of it there, the most important part. Uh, but it got even further kind of uh, surgically tightened up earlier today in the prosecution. And I want to talk to Janine Tamian about this. Janine, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Good to see you again. First of all, your thoughts on this 911 call. Then we're going to dissect it a little bit. So I actually think he does sound like he's nervous. I, I think he does sound like he's trying to get her help during this, this part of the call. Okay, so is he nervous because uh, he just came upon his wife that had a uh, rake you know, impaled in her or because he did it? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I think he did it. You know, it's just there's there's too many coincidences. There's just, everything just fell into place and everything with the affair. So I do think that. But for a second, just listening to it, I mean, he does sound like someone trying to get her help. Okay, so today, you know, the defendant takes the stand, which was a bit of a shocker. Maybe thinking, hey, I got nothing to lose here. Uh, yesterday on direct, today on cross, and at the very end of cross by the prosecution, they focused again on this 911 call, a very small part of it, where they say the defendant is whispering, "Go to hell." You, what does he say? You cheating. Poor. There yeah. you go. Very good. So uh, did you hear that or you're just taking the prosecution's word for it? I didn't hear it. I think maybe he's counting. Could it be, it could be that he says four? Is he counting? Is he's trying to receive CPR and trying to do the compression? I don't know. I think it's a brilliant stroke by the prosecution, who, by the way, could never have done this had the defendant not taken the stand. So he That's may correct. regret that for many reasons. It's a, bi uh, a big one. Uh, let's go back into the courtroom now, though, for some of the uh, testimony that had to do with the interview with the defendant. Let's take a look. Objection, Your Honor. I don't know how many times I'd be objecting up through this course, but she has just let run wild with this back and forth on this whispering, Janine. First of all, that question, you got to be objecting to this stuff. I think his attorney is asleep. I don't know why he's yeah. not objecting. So, okay. Go to hell, cheating whore. I've listened to this like uh, the Zapruder film, back and forth in the JFK assassination. Go to hell, cheating whore. I guess that's maybe one interpretation. How about we'll always have eating corn? I mean, it, there's so many things you could come up with. They had, there's evidence they watched adult films together. We'll never watch more porn. I mean, it could be so <laughs> many things. Um, but the prosecution has planted a huge seed to make an analogy to farming, uh, and it could carry the day. I mean, I think it's really, really damaging. I think there's a lot, um, especially with also if you couple that with all the, the searches that he kind of explains the way that someone else may have been using his computer, it's just too coincidental. Yeah, and I believe s some other folks may have used the iPad and done some of those searches, but not the, you know, how do you kill a cheating wife. The, I mean, those seem pretty uh, well uh, tailored to what he may have been thinking. Okay, so what do you think about the prosecution's closing in general? I'm not a fan of the prosecutor either. Really? I'm not. Wow, you're having a bad day today. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, I, I think that she she is a little combative. I think that she doesn't need to go as far as she does. I think that when she did the rebuttal and she was like repeating herself over and over, it just, I, I think it didn't have the effect that she wanted it to have. Well, we're going to find out. This jury is going to have the case very soon. Right now, they're being instructed by the judge. Uh, closings all morning, and they were dramatic and, and very exciting. So the judge is doing his thing now. The, the uh, jury should have the case very quickly. We'll start the official verdict watch. In the meantime, let's take a quick break. We'll come back to more on this case out of Iowa. Todd Mullis looking at a big penalty if he's convicted.